Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be a blast from the past, trespassing of Sean Paul Reyes, a.k.a. Long Island Audit. But we're going to be listening to the commentary of uh, an up-and-coming channel in within the uh, anti-auditor scene called Body Cam Uncensored 314. So feel free to head over to his channel, give a like, comment, share, and subscribe and all that. And, uh, and to our new friend, welcome to the club, dude. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, folks, we're now getting a glimpse of why Sean Reyes doesn't like Connecticut, or more specifically, why they don't like him. Get ready. This is going to be interesting. Welcome back, everyone. In tonight's video, we will look at the body-worn camera footage of the arrest of Sean Reyes, a.k.a. Long Island Audit, as he is arrested for trespassing at the Danbury, Connecticut City Hall. But before we get into that, please make sure to like and subscribe to Body Cam Uncensored 314. Your subscriptions really help the channel grow. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. You can F O I. Why are they coming over here and stop working? Because you're What's disrupting. Because you're he's disrupting. Just, the, he's allowed uh, to film in the hallways. Which are, okay. He went into the departments. He's not allowed to film over the counter. He starts filming everything. He's disruptive. He's intrusive. And I'm tired of it. And that's why I, I told you. All right, folks, to give you a little background, Sean Reyes, a.k.a. Long Island Audit, was filming inside the Danbury, Connecticut City Hall. While he does have the right to film, he is not allowed to go into restricted areas, and apparently, that's what he is accused of doing. And he hasn't learned anything from this particular event either, because he still whines, bitches, and complains about it quite often. When you physically assaulted me earlier. I physically assaulted you. You got my face on the camera. Tell the camera. Physically assaulted. Tell the camera. That's fine. Right. That's fine. Right. You need to get a life. Can I? Can Can I just get your name and badge number? Hold on, just back up. Let me talk to him real quick. Just let me talk to him. Give me some space. Officer Contreras, six three three. Thank you, sir. What's going on? Nothing. You just... were just at the PD. Yeah, I was just at the PD. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were you here earlier recording? Yeah, I was here earlier recording. And then you went to the PD. Uh huh. And now you're here. Yeah, I'm here because I wasn't allowed upstairs. Okay. So I had to go to PD to file a uh, criminal complaint against this gentleman for assaulting me. Okay. So um, that's why I went to the PD to write a statement. Um, I'm here again because I'm a journalist okay. working on a story. I'm yeah. capturing things that are important. That's all. Okay. Did you they're, record they're over the counter like they said? What they're, they, they're, what they're saying, officer, is that I can't even enter into the town hall office and record in the office. Because if I do, they're saying that that is somehow against the law. Okay. But uh, as I'm sure you're aware, okay. I'm not putting my phone behind a camera. I'm not in a restricted area. Eyes can't trespass. Long Island Audit, you are correct. You cannot trespass the eyes. Unfortunately, it appears that you were trespassing in a restricted area. Hey, Sean, you dunce cap. Your eyes can be trespassed because they're a part of your body, which basically means when you get trespassed, your eyes also get trespassed. And that mostly comes from the fact that you act like a complete dumbass on uh, property that doesn't exactly belong to you. So it's basically a pathetic analogy to begin with. So at least try to think of something better if you can. If you have the ability to do so, that is. And uh, given what I've seen out of you in the past few years... I really don't think you have the mental capacity for any original thought whatsoever. Except when it comes to uh, lying to your audience. Now, that you excel at. So, whatever I can see from public, can I record. can record. Right. Right? Okay. right? okay. So, that's all. I don't, I'm not going into restricted areas. Yeah. I don't even want to talk to anybody. Right. I just want to walk around here, yeah, gather my content, and be on my way. Okay. But this gentleman over here wants to the escalate. Yes, okay. he wants to escalate the situation after he just put his hands on me. Okay. He obviously didn't learn his lesson. I felt bad for pressing charges on you because I was like, I don't want to ruin this guy's life. But guess what? You deserved it, buddy. So at the end of the day, 
He's out of control. He's causing a disturbance. You can't. I, I, I'm conducting a lawful activity. How can you turn that into a disturbance? I'm not doing anything wrong. I was very reasonable to the other officers, just like I'm being very reasonable with you. Bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah, I don't you. Sean, you're trespassing. You have no legitimate purpose in that building, and you're going into restricted areas. Well, dude, I think he knows the areas are restricted. He just doesn't give a damn whatsoever because he doesn't give a damn about anybody else's uh, privacy whatsoever. I mean, that much is clear from all the videos that he does. He'll go into restricted areas and film people's private information and everything like that. And I'm sure, given half the chance, he'll post that per private information all over YouTube to just to make a little bit of a extra cash from those who like to steal people's private information. Yeah, Sean, I think you're that type of person. Because you see, Sean, we have a problem with identity theft in this country, and it's people like you that help to make the problem much, much worse. I just want to be quiet, yeah. record, exercise my First Amendment right to record in public. Okay. If they want to lock doors, if they want to start locking all their doors and, and close the access to the public, okay. which is probably unconstitutional and probably wrong for them to do, okay. not probably, definitely, because right. I should be able to enter the town clerk's office and say, hey, can I get a FOIA request form? Hey, can I, can I get this from you? Stop it. Get some help. You're not there for any of those purposes, Sean. You have no legitimate purpose in that building. Yes, you have a First Amendment right to film in public, but you're in a limited to non-public forum. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's not good. You kind of keep it, uh, well, where Sean can understand it, you see, because he doesn't understand what the public forum doctrine is all about. He may have heard of it, but he doesn't completely understand it because, like I said before on several other videos, his mental capacity is somewhat, well, lacking in that regard. Because, well, he uh, he lacks what uh, other people would consider to be empathy, you know, putting yourself in other people's shoes, you know, to understand their way of thinking? No, it's his way or the highway. I should be able to ask for services, but they're preventing me from asking services, but... Right that's now, your, now they're yeah, preventing. But that's but that's not your problem because you, okay. you know that's that's something a court can handle in a civil okay. suit. But they're trying to get you to to use your authority to arrest me or to prevent me from just simply engaging in a constitution. If they want to lock the doors, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not telling you to. Hey, officer, they're locking the doors. Arrest yeah. them. That's for a court to decide, okay. right? They can do that. Lock it. Whatever. I think it's wrong. But I'm saying it's not doing anything wrong. I just want to walk around town hall and film. That's all I want to do. Okay. Round, diddy, round, diddy, round as a circle. Round, diddy, round, diddy, round as a basketball. Round, diddy, round, diddy, can't you see? Round can also be like a hippopotamus like me. I'm a journalist. Exercising my first amendment right of freedom of press. That's it. Fuck, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! Okay. It's very simple. Um, so just give him a, he's obviously getting their side of the story, I got your side of the story. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's two sides to every story, I gotta listen to them too. Well, this is um, another reason why I record, because there's only one side of the story when, and th there's always two sides of the story, but then yeah. there's the truth, there's... Um, no, Sean. In reality, it's much more like this. Understanding is a three-edged sword. Your side, their side, and the truth. You know, sure. And there's right, there's the a middle ground. And then there's the truth, right? Right. So, so the once line. they decide uh, what's going on, or they tell my coworker, and then you're, you know, if you're recording okay. and you're not bothering anybody and you're not obviously going over the counters. Yep. Not going over the counter. I mean, I don't That's what I'm saying. Whatever. I don't understand. I don't understand. Where did they accuse you of going over the counter? So, uh, what I did was I just walked into this town clerk's office right here yeah. to ask her for a FOIA request form. Yeah. And uh, as I walked in there, they, the security guard, who assaulted me earlier, got in front of me, said, You can't record in here. You can't record in here. And I was like, Yes, I can record in here. He's saying that I can't record in the office, in the town hall office. Right, I understand. This is a job for. You know what? Mangrano should have asked, am I being detained? That's very important because it's obvious that this officer 
is holding Mangrove up because the officer approaching on the left is about to give Sean Mangrove Reyes a new pair of shiny bracelets. Excuse me, sir, what's your name? How can this cover No, no, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Boom. Roasted. You look like Utter. You must be his No, I'm not. Put your hands behind you. Thank you. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in your pocket. All right. Yep. You were told not to go film in the offices. You tell me. Okay. Just going to make sure you don't have anything on there. There you go. You got the camera on? Just yes, I do. I don't see the red lighting. Yes, it is. See? Okay. There you go. Come on. We got buddies with buddies. You, no, I'm not buddies with anybody. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! Tyrant. <laughs> uh, you guys just keep on making it worse for yourself. Take him in? Yeah. Welcome. Alright, folks, I'm going to fast forward through Sean's uh, massive waddle of shame to the part where it gets placed in the back of the cruiser. What am I being arrested for? What am I being arrested for? Trespassing. Okay. In, in, in town hall. Right. Mm -hmm. You told not to film over the counter, which you I did. wasn't filming over yeah. the counter. I was filming in the in the office, which the video approved. That's okay. fine. And they said just wanna... Staircase. It's not working. Okay. Perfect. Oh, there we go. We'll use the staircase first. Yeah, that's fine. You commit the crime today and I go away and cuss. Isn't that justice? <laughs> oh, uh, work hard like it you, you committed the crime today, buddy, yeah, and okay. I'm in cuffs. The difference is when you're arrested later, it's going to be a lawful arrest. This is a, what's called an unlawful arrest. Uh, no, man, Girdle. The arrest is 100% lawful. Why? You are trespassing. Get it? Oh, yeah, and be sure to mention that, uh, Nobody but him was arrested for this whole thing. Nobody ended up, uh, well, behind bars except for this freaking moron. And it wasn't for filming itself. It was for trespassing, not leaving a uh, place when you are asked to do so. That's what it's called. Well, you know what they could make off of the rest of the community. You want me to grab the same? I don't think it's gonna fit in my car. Sure. Hey, did you did you ever ask me to leave, officer? Yeah. I wasn't here before. Did you ask me to leave? Did you ask me to leave? How about you? Did you, did you? Did you? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ask me to leave. Oh, it's on your body camera telling me to leave. Just don't you don't you gotta warn somebody first? Don't you gotta ask somebody to leave first? Huh? Yeah. Okay. You the what? You guys are coding to area. Coding to? Yeah. But first, but first. Oh yeah, you can yeah. watch your hand. Gotcha. Any open? I got. And that is how it's done. Another one bites the dust. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to Body Cam Uncensored 314. Your subscriptions really help the channel grow. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Well, I do appreciate the classics. That was quite the road down memory lane for this uh, total moron. So I look forward to any more of the body cam footage that you are known for on your channel to come out and uh well we all can enjoy so go ahead and show this guy some love and encourage his channel to grow by subscribing and so that way we can enjoy laughing at the total morons that end up on his channel so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?